All right, ladies and gentlemen, cowboys and cowgirls, Bronx and Donks is back. Now, before you get mad at me, because I do realize I ghosted you guys on YouTube for like the last two months. Let me explain what I've been up to. This summer, I've been filming videos like crazy. I've been filming cattle drives, elk hunts, chasing wild mustangs, ranch rig conversions, like you name it. I've been filming everything. I've been filming so many videos that I just don't have time to edit, especially during the busy seasons. Like the end of the summer, fall time gets so busy for me. But I've got some great news. The next couple months, I don't have anything planned other than editing videos. So you're going to want to make sure you smash that subscribe button because our upload schedule is about to get crazy. And I hope you enjoy today's cattle drive. Welcome back to another episode of Bronx and Donks. And today, we're pushing cows on the mountain. Yay! <laughs> we tried getting an early start on the day, but when that didn't happen... What are you doing back there? I don't know, watch TikTok. Some of us were in a bad mood. We leave at 4.30 in the morning so we can get there by 7. Okay, get back in and let's get going. Bossy. After a short drive, we started unloading horses. <laughs> Before we get into today's video, I want to quickly talk about today's sponsor, yeah. Drip Drop. You can see my friend Will here. He gets a little grumpy when he gets dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it, dehydration sucks. And with symptoms like headache, fatigue, brain fog, dizziness, and so much more, it'll make anybody just a little irritable. You've been grouchy all day. You do I need to rehydrate. Been. Luckily, I have a solution for both you and my buddy Will. It's called Drip Drop, and it's unlike your typical sports drink because Drip Drop contains a medical grade formula proven to fight dehydration. Guys, the best way to battle dehydration is keeping one of these in your pocket. It's like a little IV. With the perfect amount of electrolytes and glucose, Heck it absorbs yeah. in your body fast and efficiently. <sighs> I find myself hurting cows in the middle of nowhere way too often, and dehydration can be dangerous in situations like this. So I keep a couple packs in my saddlebag because you never know when you or your buddy Will is gonna need one. And not to mention, they're delicious. My favorite flavor is watermelon. You can find more info on Drip Drop in the description below. Now back to the video. <laughs> After getting to the pasture, we started gathering cattle. This pasture is pretty big and has side canyons that the cows can trail up. So we split up and started looking for cows. So we got the main herd coming up this green pasture here. Will and I are off to the side gathering any stragglers that are running around. We're gonna meet up with everybody down here. After the sun peeked over the mountain, it made everything glow. It's mornings like this that just make me love my job and the cameras just don't do the sunrise justice. So Will ran up this canyon, he's gonna check up there. Those other boys we dropped off up here somewhere. We should be running into them soon. I see Daniel right there. Hey cattle, hey! <laughs> Who do you think is going to win, Brett? Oh, that one. <laughs> Get some. <laughs> we just did a big sweep of the area. We split up. I went up this way, gathered cows. Brett and those guys went down this way. We met right here. We're about to head over to this pasture right below the mountain. How'd your TikToks go? Good. 
After gathering all the cattle up, we could finally start the cattle drive. We had one steep hill to climb, and then it was a five mile walk to the next pasture. Hey, put this thing on me. I told you <laughs> fools we'd be done by 9 or 10 o'clock. It is 9.30 right now. It ain't over till the last cow's and in the pen. And we're just gonna cross the highway and we'll be done. When we come back up here to herd next week, we're gonna head up straight up on this mountain behind us. Hey, what's this dust on your shoulder? Did you get bucked off? <laughs> I wish, I've been riding drag all day in the dust. <laughs> yeah, we're drag. <laughs> Watch, one of these semi trucks is gonna plow our herd. Hey, 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 hey! About a week later, we picked up right where we left off. We planned on walking the cattle over 10 miles to the top of the first big ledge. If the cattle made good time, we'd probably go further than that. So we didn't have any time to waste leaving the field. Rounding them up. I figured out why they call it rounding them up because we round them in a circle. <laughs> so we're rounding them up out of the same field that we dropped them off the other day. And as you can see, up there is the mountain we're taking them up. If you're not blind. If you're not blind. Maybe we can get a rope something. I think we lost ours. <laughs> oh, really? I can't find him. Where did we lose our intern to? Uh, he was right there. Oh, he's back there, dude. He's just moseying along. Oh, he's clear back there. Hey. Hop on him. I won't let him run you over when you get off, I promise. Somebody gonna have to rope my donkey. Okay. The things you guys talked me into. I did it the other day. 
Bird. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She's been doing that to me all day. Like and subscribe. Hit the like After we gained some elevation, a few cows took a wrong turn and started climbing up in a bad spot. So Wyatt and I started hiking up after them. <laughs> After getting back on my mule, it didn't take long to reach the top of the mountain. You can count this as another successful cattle drive. Don't forget, our upload schedule is about to get crazy. So smash that subscribe button, and we'll catch you next week on another episode of Bronx and Donks. Get it.